In this video, you're going to learn how to create some basic custom animations inside Create Studio. So you can basically animate anything using motion presets, and these are the most simple way of animating. So you can simply select, for example, slide right, and you just simply clicking on these presets, you can create really cool uh, looking animations. But what we're going to do is show you how to create uh, more customized animations uh, to your own liking. So let's go and delete this one. And what I'm going to do is uh, basically drop down these properties and you'll be able to see we've got this little plus icon. So if I click on that, it means I can add a custom animation. So once I've done that, then I can go through and basically choose the properties that I want to animate. So let's say I want to animate the scale. I'm just going to click on the scale right there. And if I just go through and adjust the start point, um, we can create an animation. So at this point in the timeline, I want my shape to be this size, but I want to make it a bit like zero basically and um, to kind of scale in. So let's go to settings and I'm going to bring it down to zero. And you'll be able to see when I play this through, now we have that animation. So we could adjust the duration, just you know, drag it out and you've got that animation like that. And what you can also do is click on this icon or right click on uh, here and click on easing. And you can go through and choose a different easing type. So we've got linear, which is just like a straight um, line basically. And we've got power one. These are, have like an easing um, to the beginning and end if you select both or just to the end if you um, you know choose out. You've got an overshoot one, an elastic one and different types of kind of presets. So let's just choose back for this example. And if I just go and play this through, you can see how it kind of comes up, goes past the, the size and then comes back down to the size that we set. So just like that. Now what we can also do is if we want to adjust um, some other properties with this animation, we can right click on it, go to animation properties or just click on the settings icon as well. And let's say we want to also animate the rotation. So I'm going to select rotation. And what I'm going to do is basically rotate it maybe uh, 90 degrees like that and if I play this through you can see we've got this really nice looking rotation uh, like that and we can maybe do 90 uh, minus 90 would look pretty cool too let's have a look at this one okay like that now I might adjust the size make it a little bit bigger so I'll just bring it up and I'll center it like that and let's preview this one more time okay that's looking really good so let's say also we want to create some other animations. We can just click on the plus icon um, and maybe this time we want to uh, adjust the position. Okay, so let's go and click on position. And what I'm going to do is come to the end where I want it to end. And I'm going to just move this um, maybe back off the canvas like so. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, cool. So maybe with this one, it's quite an abrupt kind of start. So what I could do is just adjust this easing and go with both. So it adds easing to the in and the out of the animation. So let's just um, preview that now. And that looks a lot better. Maybe I'd adjust the speed to make it a little bit longer. Like that, okay. So that's just a quick overview of using custom animations. Uh, you'll have to check out some more advanced um, tutorials on creating advanced animations with our custom presets. Um, one last thing that I would show you as well is um, the rotation point over here. So by simply um, changing the rotation point, right now it's rotating but in the, at the middle of the object so you can see it rotates in like that. But I can also go through and for example select the bottom corner and now when it rotates you'll see it rotates from this point here. Okay, So you can create some yeah, pretty cool looking animations just by changing up the uh, rotation point. Like that. So that one you probably want to move it across a little bit more. Um, and there we go, we've got a really nice looking animation. So yeah, have some fun trying that out. Um, and yeah, go and watch some other tutorials showing you more advanced things if you want to learn more about creating custom animations.